Hi, my name is Corbin Pacheco and I am Senior Director of Product Marketing for D2IQ. In this video, I'm going to perform a basic Kubernetes upgrade. I'm going to use Convoy for my Kubernetes platform. Convoy provides best-of-breed open source components from the cloud native community, integrated and automated to accelerate time to value for Kubernetes projects. Convoy is complete with everything needed for day two operations out of the box and it is supported 7x24 by, by the Kubernetes experts at D2IQ. Having fine-grained control over the upgrade process is critical, as your strategy for upgrades may depend on a variety of factors like dev clusters versus production, or small clusters versus large shared clusters, for example. Convoy provides controls to upgrade Kubernetes in a variety of ways. I can upgrade Kubernetes itself, the Kubernetes add-ons like Prometheus, or the Convoy CLI, all independently. Upgrades can be performed in place without disruption, migrate workloads automatically, or control how many worker nodes should be done at a time or in parallel. Or I can choose to upgrade the nodes by node pool. Node pools are a convenient way to separate nodes for a variety of reasons, such as workload placement. Pools can contain different types of nodes, like GPU-based nodes, for example. This demo will cover a basic Kubernetes upgrade. A subsequent video will cover advanced scenarios. Let's get started. I have my cluster up and running. I can check the version of all my nodes by running the kubectl get nodes command. You can see that running in the bottom of the screen. The get nodes command shows that the version of all my nodes in my cluster are 1.16.4. I will continue to watch that command or have it continue to run during the demo so I can watch the upgrade go. I'm going to start by configuring Convoy for the upgrade by updating the version of my Kubernetes in the cluster.yaml file. I'm going to upgrade this cluster from 116.4 to 117.8. First, I'll find the section of the, the configuration that covers the version. You can see here that my Kubernetes version is 116.4. I'm going to go ahead and update that to 117.8. Go ahead and save this file. Note that before upgrading, please consult with best practices. It is important to back up your cluster if upgrading in production. Also, it may not be possible to upgrade directly to the latest version in one hop, depending on how far back in version your cluster is. Consult the docs for more information. I'm going to kick off the upgrade with the convoy up command. I'm going to tell Convoy to go ahead and continue with the upgrade, and this should take a few minutes to run. The upgrade starts by upgrading the control plane first. In the get nodes output at the bottom of the screen, you should notice the master nodes upgrade one at a time, followed by the worker nodes. Each worker node is automatically drained during the process before the upgrade. It is then returned to service. The upgrade will continue until all nodes have been completed. The upgrade is now complete. Let's take a final look. You can see that the server version is now 117.8. You can run the git nodes command to see the exact same output as I have down here. Now that we have completed a basic Kubernetes upgrade, we can take a look at advanced upgrades for how to have finer grain control. Thanks for watching this short video. Please visit Docs for more information, learn more with upcoming workshops, or read our blog.